In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate planetary motion in our solar system with Newton. By altering the time and space parameters, we are able to model these large systems with the same ease as we have so far with smaller scale simulations. To begin, we create a new example. Click twice on the table and set the visibility parameter to false. In this way, we will be able to depict the planet's motion in space. Choose the background from the object combo box and select the starry night sky radio button. Then click OK. To set parameters appropriate to the distances involved in this model, set the dimension value to 10 to the 12th in the view menu, 3D window setting dialog. Set the gravitational force to planetary in the simulation menu force fields dialog. Change the unit system to astro by selecting it from the combo box in the simulation menu units dialog. Now we can begin to add planets to the system. Click on the celestial body icon in the extra objects tab on the objects bar. Double click on the body to bring up the properties window. Choose the sun from the object name combo box. Newton automatically sets the astronomical body's real properties. Insert as many objects as you want, repeating the previous steps. The two track bars on the properties window are useful for scaling the size of the sun and the planets. Note that the scaling does not alter the mass or the density parameters. Right click on the body and choose the track line command. Next, change the time parameters on the simulation settings menu. Finally, we run the simulation. This concludes our demonstration of modeling planetary motion in Newton.